Hey, how are you? You're in my neighborhood? You're coming over in an hour? No, 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 <laughs> that's totally fine. Um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. Welcome back to Cravings Food Adventures. Our home is always open to our family and friends and impromptu visits are appreciated. Now I know I was being a little dramatic earlier but I'm really prepared for any last minute guests. This time though I just wanted to do something a little bit different and I wanted to put together a charcuterie and cheese board. Now since this is so last minute I literally had to run around my house and find wooden objects that I could put together that look really interesting and I'm also going to fill those boards with items that I have already in my fridge and my pantry. I'm going to take a wooden tray and I'm going to turn it upside down and then on top of that I'm going to put just a regular wooden board and I'm also going to supplement it with some other wooden planks. Now these are just cedar planks that you get to cook fish on but they're really handy to use and they create an extra surface area for your charcuterie and cheese board. I'm also going to use some wooden bowls. These are my mom's wooden bowls. These are from the 70s and I've had them for a while. I'm going to use them to showcase some crackers and some fruit and they're just going to look so amazing. A charcuterie board is an array of smoked meat. Now while this is typically pork, we're going to do something a little bit different today. A cheese board usually has a soft cheese, a medium cheese and a hard cheese but I'm just going to put whatever I have in my fridge onto my board and make it amazing. I love the DIY aspect to a charcuterie and cheese board. You can put things out and your guests can go and mix and match ingredients and eat them just the way they like it. I'm going to start with some Cuban cheese and a bowl of walnuts, also some beef pepperoni, some beautiful fresh green grapes, and of course, you can't have a board without some olives. I've got some gorgeous olives here. And I'm also going to add some cubes of cheddar cheese. Now, some people say that you should never put cheddar cheese on a cheese board. It's just way too ordinary. But I'm going to tell you, children love this cheese. So if you want to encourage your kids to be part of this whole experience, put something on that board that they're going to like and you're going to see that they're soon going to be encouraged to try that cheese but also try other things. It's a great way to trick them to eat new things. I'm also going to add some almonds and of course I love smoked salmon and everyone in my family loves smoked salmon. I have some beautiful smoked salmon here. I'm going to add this on. It's just garnished with a little bit of thyme and I'm also going to add some beautiful oil. I've just put together some olive oil with some thyme and red chilies. This is going to be flavored. You can pour it over that smoked salmon. It's going to be delicious. I'm also going to add some Dijon mustard. Mustard goes so amazing with salmon. So I want to make sure that my guests are going to help themselves with some salmon. They can also have a little bit of that delicious mustard on the side. Next, I'm going to add some more olives. And I'm going to make use of my fondue pot. I've got some beautiful goat cheese that I just warmed up. I'm going to put a tea light in my fondue pot. I'm going to keep that goat cheese warm for my friends to just dip in and enjoy. I'm also going to add an assortment of crackers from my pantry, as well as some beautiful jam. I'm using blackcurrant jam. A lot of people like a little bit of sweet with their salty. This blackcurrant jam comes from my backyard. I grow blackcurrants and make this delicious jam once a year. And this is amazing with crackers. I'm also going to add some breadsticks and a little bit of fig jam for somebody that wants something a little bit less sweet. Voila! There is my charcuterie and cheese board. Hello! 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 Hello.
This is an idea for you to take into your own homes, build your own charcuterie and cheese board any way you like, put it on the table and let everyone interact with all of the ingredients. Trust me, it's gonna be the star of your next soiree. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings for Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this very simple idea. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week. So make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see it. And join us behind the scenes in all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, and also Snapchat. I hope to see you soon. Do take care.